Biker Billy cooks with fire. All right! Welcome back! You were gone a whole week! Maybe longer! Well, if you were, you're probably hungry. I know I get hungry if I'm gone for more than, oh, I don't know, five, six, seven miles. Me and my group, we go down the road, we go, there's going to be a place to eat. There's one, and we zoom over there, and we get something to eat, and then we go riding again. We're riding down the road. About 15 minutes later, we digest it, and we say, hey, there's a place to eat, and we go over there and get a place to eat, and we cruise around. And if you're getting hungry listening to all this, you just sit back, relax, warm up your engines, because when we come back, rum, 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 we're going to cook with fire. All right! The recipe from this program is in Biker Billy's Free Way of Fire cookbook, now available as an ebook at bikerbilly.com. All right! Well, now, here we are. You're there, I'm here, we're ready. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna cook something delicious, yes. We're gonna cook something evil. What I call the unholy stromboli. Yes, sir, Bob, it's delicious. A little while back, I made me a pizza. You may have had some too, and I was so delighted with the taste. I said, let me go invent me something delicious that I can hold in my hand and maybe ride down the road and eat some. So I made this delicious recipe, and you're going to check it out. I got me a new friend on the set. Yes, a beautiful... Whoa, it's alive! A new blender! We're going to have some fun with that. But before we start blending, chopping, grinding, slicing, dicing, getting going, let's start with the hot pepper. So, check it out. All right. You got some beautiful anjo peppers. They're gorgeous. They're dried. They're soft and flexible. What we're going to do is take a nice bowl. We're going to remove the stem. Yes, sir, Bob. You don't need that stem. No, sir, Bob. And you know... You don't need them seeds either. So we get rid of them seeds. Get all them little seeds out there. Now, don't be fooled, kitties at home. You can't take these seeds into your garden and hope to successfully glow delicious pepper plants. No, sir, Bob. You've got to get good live seeds so you get rid of them. All right. Now, tear this sucker up in itty-bitty little pieces. Just rip it up. It's like a fruit roll-up from hell. Let me tell you. It's tasty and delicious, but now your fingers are a dangerous weapon. Don't touch your eyes or anything else, because you'll be surprised now. Take one half cup of water. Oh, heck, do I have water that's just boiled? A half cup of water that just boiled. Put it on top of those peppers, and in a few minutes, I'll show you both. They go from being dried and ripped up to being beautiful, tender, delicious. Mmm, boy, anjo peppers. A fabulous flavor you gotta find out. Now we take my brand new blender and we pour them peppers in there. And what are we gonna do to the Mike Freeze? Chop them up. We're gonna chop them up. We're gonna puree the hell out of them. All right. Boy, it's just like a hot, zot, 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 sports bike. All right, now we're gonna add some delicious stuff in here. Ooh, I'm having so much fun. We're gonna flip the top. Yes, pop the pop top on the blender. Oh, boy, is this baby a beautiful, gray, gorgeous blender. I put myself a wonderful, wonderful teaspoon of sugar and a beautiful teaspoon of salt. Pulse it! All right, now! Ooh, I like that. Now, what would we add to here? We would add, that's right, yeast, baby! Now, I use the rapid rise yeast. You can use the slow yeast. Either kind of yeast you use, you follow the package instructions on the yeast in terms of temperature and getting it just right. So grab your pack of scissors there, cut that little thing over one packet of yeast. Wonderful, beautiful yeast. We're going to take and add this in here. Now, this packet says use water that's between 115 and 130, I think, something like that. Check the packet, get it right. We're going to add one cup of water that is the correct temperature. Now, let me tell you, kitties, if the water is too hot, you'll kill the little yeasties, and if it's too cold, they won't wake up. Yes, they're sleepy babies. So, here we go. Blend that stuff up, all right. Now, four, 
wonderful cups of flour. We're not going to do all the flour in the blender, but we're going to put one cup in, get that cup of flour in there, and pulse the baby! Now, oh boy! Look in there, it's soupy! Yes, it's soupy sales! No, it isn't, it's soupy! I'm going to add one more cup here. One more cup of flour. I think we can get it to boil. Now, we're going to reach down here. We're going to get ourselves a gigantic bowl. We got a total of four cups. I got two cups of flour in there. Here's the second cup in here. Don't stick the thing down in the plate. Ooh, I love this motor. so much fun so we get this blended up now what you're gonna do if you did this in your food processor you could do the whole thing just like I did the other night but remember don't over labor the motor so we'll just scrape this goo around just a little bit more and run it one more time now you're gonna take and you're gonna want to prepare this about I'd say an hour an hour before you're gonna want to put it in the oven so I put my other flour in there. I'm going to get the rest of this out. Throw this there. Ooh, boy, is this delicious. The color is outrageous. We got one cup of flour there. Now, there's a big secret to this. You need to have a warm place to let the dough rise. So we got this all out of the wonderful new blender. We're going to take and we're going to put our other cup. So that's the fourth cup of flour. And we're just going to start mixing this up with our hands now. You're going to want to have a large bowl, and if you look at about the size of the ingredients in this bowl, this is a perfect bowl in which to get it ready. You're going to want to get it all well blended and kneaded and all that groovy stuff. Then you're going to want to take, and you're going to want to grease the bowl with some olive oil, make a ball out of the dough, put it back in the bowl that's been greased with olive oil. The reason for this is just like you lube the rear end of your bike so your axle don't burn up, you don't want resistance in unnecessary places, the oil on the side of the bowl lets the dough rise up. So while I need my way into Stromboli hell, you sit back, you relax, and you remember when we come back, we're gonna cook with fire around! The recipe from this program is in Biker Billy's Free Way of Fire cookbook, now available as an ebook at bikerbilly.com. Oh, you got me playing with my new toy. All right. Yes, sirry, Bob. I love new motors, new equipment, anything that's fun that goes. Now, let's start cooking. We're going to take two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil delicious wonderful extra virgin olive oil it is so tasty i love it we're gonna let that start getting hot in the pan and we're gonna grab ourselves some onions yes my favorite fruit is onions yes sir bob it may not be a fruit but boy it should be it is so good so good for you the smell of onions the aroma it brings tears to my eyes oh, 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 oh. all right now we're going to take two big, beautiful, medium onions. We're going to trim them. Eh, get off their own skin. We're going to trim them down. We're going to slice them up. We want some nice, chunky pieces. So just cut them in big slices and cut those slices in quarters. And we got that oil nice and hot. And we may soon achieve that state of bliss known as sizzle. All right. So there's one onion. Yes, sir, Bob. This is my favorite part of the show, cutting the onions. Actually, my favorite part of the show is dealing with them delicious hot peppers and we got more hot peppers for you you won't believe it yes sirree bob we got the anjos in the dough and we got some delicious peppers boy this onion does not want to be skinned we got some delicious peppers we're going to put in the middle of our stromboli now here we go slice slice and dice so two medium onions cut into good sized chunks toss into two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. This stuff is so delish. Now, here we go. Peppers, 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 beautiful cherry peppers. 
absolutely gorgeous. Check them out. They may be totally red. They may be a little bit red and green. These are right out of my garden. I froze them. This knife ain't sharp enough. We're gonna grab another knife. Oh, that knife ain't... Oh, I gotta sharpen my knives! I don't know. I got a new blender, but I got a dull knife. So, cut off the little head. Yes, sir, Bob. And what you're gonna wanna do is get rid of them. You don't eat those babies. And cut these babies up into some nice pieces. You want to mince them up a little bit by hand. It's just absolutely wonderful. Yes, some of you folks out there say, Hey, Biker Billy, you can't cut nothing with a knife. You got to use that food processor. So let me just show you. I can mince and dice and slice. Be right with the rest of them television knife slinging people. All right, so here we go. Slice it around. I'm indentating this cutting board. We'll get that wonderful two wonderful cherry peppers all minced up shoot them right in there with that delicious onion and what is missing freeze garlic garlic all right yes sir i got myself a new one day supply of garlic ah oh boy better than them fancy french perfumes yes we put in one check this out this is one level tablespoon of garlic Yes, sir, Bob. So we put two level tablespoons of garlic. We drop some on the cutting board, and in it goes because you know my motto, no garlic is not enough garlic. So we stir that up, and we're going to start with some delicious, delicious vegetables. So we'll grab ourselves a knife here, and oh, the aromas, the aromas, the aromas. Onions, garlics, and hot peppers. It's fantastic. So grab yourself a zucchini. Remove its little top and its bottom. All right. Good thing I didn't go into baseball as a career. Now we're going to take this, cut this in half, line it up, and we can do this conveniently. Cut nice little half moons of zucchini. You want to get the zucchini in the pan pretty quick because I've been told that it is delicious when it is nice and tender cooked. I like it crispy. I like it tender. You can be your own judge because when you cook this, you're the boss, you're the biker, you do the cooking. Some like it tender, some like it firm. So get that zucchini in there. Give it a nice little stir. What do we got down here? We got a red spoon. All right. So stir this around a little bit. And one of my lady, my lady Rochelle, she loves mushrooms. So we're going to put in here one cup of beautiful mushrooms nice gorgeous delicious mushrooms you love them or you hate them and rochelle loves them how about you freeze you like them no i just like onions yeah <laughs> freeze just likes onions guess what freeze have an onion all right now hey wait a minute give me my onion back some people, they go to steal your onions. I don't know. So you get a couple of mushrooms, you slice them up, make them nice, big, chunky pieces because you want to be able to taste all the delicious ingredients in this stromboli. Now, we're going to get this cut up. That's approximately one biker cup full of mushrooms, so we'll just take it, throw them in here. Yes, sir, Bob. Now, here goes for the fun part. We're going to take ourselves some nice, wonderful, sun-dried tomatoes. These are the kind that are packed in oil. We want ourselves about a dozen of these. We'll just take and scoop a bunch out of here. Oil and all, it's okay. We'll get a dozen. This is gonna add up to approximately a half cup. And what you wanna do is you wanna take and mince them. So you're gonna mince these up real fine. They are so tasty and delicious. One dozen pieces of wonderful sun-dried tomato. I'm gonna mince these babies up. What you're gonna do is you're gonna sit back, relax. You're gonna think about riding the bike, but you're gonna stay for a little bit longer when we cook with fire, all right! The recipe from this program is in Biker Billy's Free Way of Fire cookbook, now available as an ebook at bikerbilly.com. All right, now we got all that stuff stirring up there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves some bell peppers. Yes, they're not hot, but they are beautiful. Now, I've got a yellow bell pepper, and whose favorite color is that, Freeze? Yours. All right, there we go. We clean the inside out, one big lump. Get rid of that, baby. You don't need the seeds. 
Cut this into some nice rings, maybe two or three rings. Cut it into some nice chunks. You want big, delicious chunks in your unholy stromboli. Now, we got our dough arising. You want to give that approximately an hour. You check whatever yeast you use because there will be indications on there. This is a standard pizza dough, except I've made it special by including some anjo peppers. All right, now, we got a yellow one sliced up. In there, we're going to slice up the red one. You want to cook this stuff up, and you want to give this stuff a chance to cool down some before you actually assemble the stromboli. So we'll cut the red pepper and check this out. We cut near the crown. You see where we are. Cutting inside from the crown a little bit. It's just such a cool little trick. Give it a twist. And there you go. It didn't work. Look at that. I got to reach in there and dig that stuff out and throw it away. All right. Pepper seeds everywhere. You don't need that stuff. And if I did it right, it would have worked out so good. Peppers are so delicious. These red and yellow peppers are just different varieties of the same green peppers you get in the store. I know I've told you that a million times. They are so fabulous. They are worth the extra price because they're sweet and they're so colorful. When you cut this stromboli open and you see the beautiful colors, it is well worth the extra penny. Now, we get this all stirred up, simmering over here, and we're going to grab our dough. The dough is doubled up in size. And what we've basically done is we punch it down so that it's not all fluffy full of air because it'll do that again. And what we're going to want to do is flour our board. We want to flour the board. Let me teach you a trick, kitty. You take your rolling pin and you flour the rolling pin. Take and form this with your hands so it starts to be square or rectangular. You'll see that that's not really round. If we we're doing a round pizza, we'd want to make it round. Now, if you got a real big working surface, bigger than the one I got here, you can actually roll out one giant piece and cut it in half. If you don't, just cut it in half and work with two smaller pieces. This is enough to make two. You will not believe the size of these strombolis. They're enough to feed two hungry bikers, which probably means you can feed, oh, I don't know, six average normal people. So you roll this out, you flip it over a couple times, always roll this to try to get a square shape. I'm not doing a perfect job, and you know something? If you don't do a perfect job, too bad it's your kitchen, and who's got a right to complain, oh baby, about the way you cook in your kitchen. This is America after all. Now, you get this rolled out, and we're going to have so much fun with this. You got the vegetables nicely cooked up. We're going to grab over here our little spatula, turn those vegetables, check them out. They're absolutely delicious and gorgeous. Look at the beautiful, beautiful colors on that. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, what you're going to do, you got your dough here. It's nice big rectangle. It's maybe a quarter inch thick. And you're going to put your delicious stuff on it. But before we put that on it, I'm just going to lay this up top here. I'm going to show you where my scissors go. All right, down here, where'd they go? Somewhere, I had a pair of scissors. Well, 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 I had a pair of scissors. So I'm going to do it a little differently. I can't find my scissors. I'm going to lay my dough aside. Got some nice, wonderful, fresh basil. Normally what you'd want to do is take the scissors and snip it off. You're going to want for this recipe one whole cup of basil. So I'm just going to, I'm only making a half of it. I'm just going to take this and you'd snip this off with a pair of scissors. It gives a nice delicious flavor. So we'll just take, we'll set this aside here for one moment. A whole cup for the whole recipe. Take the dough and here's the trick. Take the dough and lay your vegetables on the dough. These vegetables are hot now. If you're smart and you do this at home, you'll allow the veggies to cool down. Lay them out on the the wonderful dough, leave a one inch margin, and you can be pretty generous because the dough will stretch, but don't make like a stack that's like two inches tall. So, you get your vegetables out there, you go ahead, you cover it with one cup of cheese if you're doing a half, two cups of cheese if you're doing a whole, over the whole thing, or you put a whole cup of this, wonderful basil, and you just take this and you roll this towards you, 
and if you left a nice one inch margin you'd be able to roll this right over onto the seam pinch those edges closed bake it in a 400 degree oven for a half an hour when you come back I'm gonna show you what it looks like all right the recipe from this program is in Biker Billy's Free Way of Fire cookbook, now available as an ebook at bikerbilly.com. All right, check it out. Now, if you got me straight, this is a finished stromboli. There's enough dough to make another. The vegetables is enough to make two big strombolis like this, one cup of cheese each, and a half a cup of the fresh basil on each of the two strombolis, or make one enormous one, but two is better. Slip it in the magic oven, and one, two, three, it bakes for half an hour, and it's gonna come out, but before we deal with that, we're gonna look around. All right, check it out. Now, if you got me straight, this is a finished stromboli. There's enough dough to make another. The vegetables is enough to make two big strombolis like this, one cup of cheese each, and a half a cup of the fresh basil on each of the two strombolis, or make one enormous one, but two is better. Slip it in the magic oven, and one, two, three, it bakes for half an hour, and it's gonna come out. All right, get yourself a nice pizza cutter or a big serrated knife. Grab yourself some oven mitts. Now remember, I put it down in the magic oven over here and out of the magic oven. Yes, it went in on a wood board, and here it is. It came out on a nice pizza tray. A beautiful and look at the dark color of this dough it's absolutely fantastic the anjo pepper gives it that great dark color so we're just gonna take this here and we're gonna slice our way into this and this is gorgeous inside the wonderful delicious stuff is all cooked up it hi <laughs> you caught me I was gonna eat it this stuff is outrageous it's basically a pizza that's all rolled up on itself and it's baked and it's delicious and it's hand holdable food or you can slice it and you can take and you can cover it with some wonderful if I can slice through here you can cover this with some wonderful sauce and you got the beautiful stuff cooked in there it is so fantastic you can cook this at home all you got to do is have faith in yourself and try and have faith in yourself and realize that you can ride a bike too all you got to do is get out there and try so remember eat hot Ride safe, rum, rum, and cook with fire, all right! This has been an All Rights production, copyright 1994 and 2017.